Underway, trailer park crash hitting the ring and Pearl harboring Whoopi D. And right now, referee Gene Johnson trying to get the man off Whoopi D. Whoopi has not even gotten his wardrobe and attire straightened out. And right away, he's in the midst of a brawl. I've told you time and time again, Michael, trailer park trash comes to the ring ready to go. He got in there and he took it right to Wolfie D. And he goes one, two, almost got the three count very quickly. I'll, I'll tell you, the, the Music City Wrestling Association group, we got to do something. And something has to be done about this Billy Joe Travis. He came out and he nearly killed Doug Gilbert with that guitar. I felt the concussion from it. I didn't get hit with it, but I could feel the concussion from that guitar. And Doug Gilbert, the worst for wear, as he was helped out of the arena after we went to break. Well, it's too bad you didn't get hit by it, Michael, but I'll explain something to you right here. As we see Wolfie D with a big power bomb on Trailer Park Trash. And just like that, he's taken back over. And then listen to these people in here. Wolfie D, very capable of handling himself in the ring. And he goes right after Trailer Park Trash. I would say that Trailer Park Trash's sneak attack raised the ire of Wolfie D and Wolfie now going to town on his man. Three closed fists there, so I would agree with you what you're saying about these referees and getting order around here. But as far as Billy Joe Travis goes, you know, sometimes there's wrestlers that these promoters don't want to put in the marquee matches. You got to go out and announce your presence with authority to get those matches. And that's exactly what Billy Joe Travis has done. He has picked on the heroes around here and that has forced them to demand matches and it has forced the promoters to give him those matches. Let and here comes Flash, Flash Flanagan. Flanagan has hit the ring and goes right after Wolfie D as Wolfie D had Bulldog his opponent. And now Wolfie and Flash, this is bad blood from last week in Nashville, Tennessee. These two hate each other. And right now Wolfie D pounding on Flash Flanagan. They're pulling him outside. Last week they had a Falls Count Anywhere in the City event. And boy, what a wild one it was last Saturday night at the fairgrounds. And now, Flash Flanagan out to get revenge. Well, good, and you saw that picture of Flash at the beginning of the show all bloodied up by this villain, Wolfie D. He's a hoodlum, and now Flash is taking him. Hopefully he's gonna take him up there to the upper deck and throw him off like Wolfie did last week. And they're headed upstairs. He's pushing Wolfie D up the steps. And Flash Flanagan, we've turned on the house lights here at the Music City Fairgrounds Arena. And exactly what you said, he's taking him up top. That's right, Michael, you weren't here for the Saturday night event last week, 8 p.m. at the fairgrounds. What happened last week is Wolfie, right from this vantage point right here, Wolfie threw Flash wait, Flanagan wait minute, right over the top, right down to the floor. Hold on, Paul, they're wrapping the chain. They're wrapping this tire chain around Wolfie D. They've got him up top. They're pushing him. They're, they're, they're going to throw him out. Holy cow, they're going to hang him. Good. They're going to hang him from the balcony. That's exactly what happened to Flash last week. They threw him, and he took an eight-foot tumble right down to the floor. He ought to be lucky that they've got a chain around his neck because that could have broken Holy Flash's Holy cow, they're hanging. Let's they should break hang away. Him. Let's break away. Look at this. we got to break away. They're hanging the man.